Hi from the Book Tart. I'd like to tell you about a book I read today. This book is um, a new romantic suspense. It's by Maya Banks. It's called Echoes at Dawn and it's the fifth book in the um, KGI series. <sighs> and I curled up in my chair for three hours and devoured this, this book. Now, honestly, I don't read that much romantic suspense. I'm really a paranormal romance, urban fantasy girl, with a little bit of YA tossed in there and some erotic romance sometimes. You've got the YA, yeah, and never mind. <laughs> um, anyway, I picked up the very first book in this series in um, the spring, and that one is um, The Darkest Hour, and then there's a second one, No Place to Run, Hidden Away, Whispers in the Dark. So Whispers in the Dark was the fourth one, and in that one she brings in some paranormal elements. So it became even more delicious to me, and I've been waiting eagerly for Echoes at Dawn. I actually paid expedited shipping so I could get it on the release day, July 3rd, and it did not disappoint. Um, so, okay, so um, this one, the hero's name is Rio, and he... At the end of the last book, he is has said that he will go after um, Grace and try to rescue Grace. Grace's sister was the heroine of the previous book, and she and Grace um, have a telepathic bond, and Grace can heal physical wounds telepathically. Um, so she's been hunted, and she's been used as a guinea pig, and she is... Be, uh, she's on the run, so she doesn't know where the, who the good guys are, who the bad guys are, and she's at the end of her rope. She's, she's been used and abused, and they kept bringing her sick patients and expecting her to heal them. And to heal them, Grace had to take on their injuries, their wounds, their diseases. And they kept piling on these cases, and she, her body, they didn't have time to recover. So she was nearly dead. And she was, um, hiding and Rio and his team find her in the nick of time um, the bad guys are almost you know they almost have her and Grace I like Grace she's strong um, she's vulnerable she's been wounded and yet occasionally she wants to give up but part of that is one of the cases she took on was a mentally ill patient who wanted to kill herself and when Grace took on that she took on that depression for a bit too and I think she was still fighting off the effects of that but she was so tired and sick and exhausted emotionally and mentally and physically that yeah she did at times at the beginning want to give up but Rio encourages her and she gets her her second wind and they're off and running because there's a new threat against Grace. This bad guy really, really, really wants to get her and he's hired the best of the best, a black ops team to come after her. So Rio and his crew are determined to save her and you get to see how Rio is tough and strong and he's he's fought on the side of the gray, you know, gray issues. And he sees himself as almost irredeemable that, you know, just has to keep fighting for what's right now that he's decided which side he stands on but he doesn't know that he deserves someone like Grace but he's gonna take her anyway he loves um, he feels that connection to her and then there's the love and the romance <sighs> and the back and forth between him and Grace is good and the seeing Grace recover get back up on her feet to dust herself off and be the strong woman that she was before she was beat to the ground by life was inspiring um, so Grace has to uh, get back up and fight for herself with Rio at her side and they become a team and there's some things that she is able to do that can you know save herself and Rio and he has to let her do that and that was nice to see that he didn't take that power away from her 
he loved and respected her enough to give her that um, and let her do what she could because he couldn't save them in some instances and she could so it's so good um, adventure passion love bits of paranormal um, sexy great dialogue the dynamic between Rio and Grace is delicious I love how Maya Banks writes um, she lets you see inside the characters heads you feel that connection I adored this book so romantic suspense go read Maya Banks KGI series and if you're like me and that's not normally up your alley give it a try um, and then I'm eagerly eagerly waiting for the next series um, the next book in the series called Exiled it has the female sniper who's part of the um, covert ops crew that Rio's part of and her name is um, hmm oh sorry that was the wrong book Exiled is Maya Banks um, new novella uh, Shades of Grey is her new KGI novel sometime soon I hope and that's PG's story um, but I'm saying it wrong it's PJ <laughs> like pajamas so PJ's story uh, and that will be I'm eagerly waiting for that and I know I'll reread these books while I wait so once again thank you for watching the book tart Babylon about a book she just devoured it was delicious it took me only a few hours <sighs> it was wonderful nice nice break and check out thebooktart.com. I have 950 plus books listed for the month of July, which is exciting. You can scroll through them by, by date, choose a date. Uh, you can scroll through them and choose an author. You can search by ISBN and title, and you can search, choose August and see what August has. I also have a contest going on right now. So visit me and keep an eye on the books I'm reading and comment and give me suggestions. I'd love to hear from you. Goodbye from the book tart.